Hey everyone, welcome to another How To Webflow. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to do a page transition, okay? So this is kind of a intermediate type of trick to do inside of Webflow because it requires some custom coding. Now, I'll try to break down the code as best as I can. It's not a lot of code, it's, it's you know, it, there is some jQuery, so if you don't understand jQuery, um. I'll do my best, okay? But this is what we're gonna try to do, all right? So whenever someone clicks on a certain type of link, then they would see an outro animation, then an intro animation, and there you go. You have that cool trick, okay? So let's get to it. All right, here we go. Now, uh, we're gonna start with the code that makes this page transition of action work, all right? So when we put in code for the whole site, we're gonna have to go to the project settings of the site, then click on custom code, and scroll down to footer code, and we're going to copy and paste the script. I'm gonna put the script in the, um, in the description in the YouTube description so you can get it but um, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and explain what this all means and and then we're gonna go back into the designer okay so what this script means is this first line right here it means when I click on this certain element I want you to prevent its default action so if it's a link if someone were to click on it that link goes nowhere because we're preventing its default action okay instead what we're going to do is right here this line we're going to get its attribute of href okay so href is usually the url or link that the the link goes to and we're going to save it into a memory called go to okay then after we save that memory we're going to set a timer on the browser okay so this is what this means we're setting a timer and we're setting the timer for one second okay so this is what this means okay now after that one second we want the browser to do something and that's Whatever the URL that we saved, we want the browser, which is window.location, we want the browser to go to it. And that's it, okay? So I'm gonna click Save Changes, and I'm gonna come back to this. Uh, but that's about it for the code. I'm gonna click on Designer, okay? And now, I'm gonna go ahead and find the class name of the nav, of the nav link. So whenever I click on one of these three links, a page transition should happen, right? So this is called navigation item. And notice that it has a space in between navigation and item. What Webflow does is it removes the spaces and replaces it with a dash when you click on publish, okay? So now that we know what the class name is, we gotta go back to the code and add this class name to it, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my project settings, go to my custom code, and now right here, in between the two single quotes, I'm going to put dot navigation dash item, all right? So now, what we're saying on this line is whenever someone clicks on an element that has a class name of navigation item, do all this stuff, all right? Cool, we're gonna save changes and move on to creating our animation, okay? So we're gonna make a very simple one, something that, kind of like a curtain, it swipes down and then it swipes back up, okay? So let's go ahead and get that ready. I'm going to drag in a div block on the very top. I'm gonna to call this um, overlay, all right? 
and this overlay is going to be set to fixed and I'm going to set it to the top and I'm going to set the Z index to something crazy like 99999 because I want it to be on top of everything. Okay. I'm also going to give it a background color of, we'll just say like a, a blue, a blue like that. Okay. Actually, I want this 100%. There we go. So we're going to set it to a blue color. Obviously, you can style this however you want, but this is just an example. And this is what I want it to do. It's going to start at 0%, and then when I click on one of these three links, it's going to take over the whole page. So 0 to 100%. So even if I scroll down, I can't see anything, so it's like a curtain. And then when I get to the next page, it's going to go from 100 to 0. Cool? All right. So let's make that happen. So our our element is ready. Okay, we're done building building our element. Now it's time to create the interaction. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on any of my navigation items and create an element trigger. I'm going to set it to mouse tap and start an animation. I'm going to create a new animation and I'm going to call it outro. And here's the thing. If I click on overlay right now, uh, Webflow leaves the symbol. So watch what happens. See? I'm outside of the symbol now, so I can't really target overlay. So you kind of have to do a workaround, and I'll show you how to do that. Go back to your navigation item, go into your animation, and just set the transform or set the interaction that you want. So I was going to start it as uh, height zero percent, okay, but Oh, and set that as initial state, okay? But I don't want to target navigation item. I want to right click and change target. And now I can click on overlay. And there we go. So now see, I clicked on that. I'm still in the symbol. So now I can keep working. All right. So I'm going to now click on the end and click size. And the height is going to be 100%. I mean, got to make sure that it's on overlay. There we go. So I want it 100%. And let's set the duration for, for let's say, 0.9 seconds. Okay? Because we set the uh, timeout, the, the timer, for w one second. I'm going to set this for 0.9 seconds. And I'm going to set the easing to in, out, Quint, you can do whatever you want, but it's going to look like this. There we go. So now that this um, interaction is done, I can apply this same outro interaction to the other navigation items. So how I can do that is I can go back to the trigger and I can set this to trigger on any class name that has navigation item. So now this has it and this has it. Okay. So any class name navigation item has my outro interaction. Let's publish. Let's publish and test. Okay. So we're here. I'm going to click on about. Nice. So I click on home. It's not going to work because we didn't add that um, overlay element to the other pages. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to copy this overlay, go to about, paste it, and put it to the top. And then same thing for the style guide page. I'm going to paste it, put it to the top, publish. And now this interaction should show up on every page. So I'm going to click on about cool go back to home cool go to style guide cool so we're halfway there now we need to do the intro okay 
So the intro, obviously, is just a reverse of the outro. So uh, what we can do is page trigger on page load. When the page finishes loading, start an animation. And I'm going to duplicate outro. Okay. And I'm going to call it intro instead. All right. And right here, zero, I'm going to drag it down because I'm just switching these two. And I'm going to set the easing to in out quint. Um, duration could be anything you want. I'm going to put 0.9 again. And this right here, the 100%, this becomes the initial state. All right. So now that we have that intro that's set on the style guide page, I need to set this intro on the other two pages. Page trigger, oops, wrong one. Page trigger, page load. When finishes loading, do the intro. One more time. Going on the home page, page trigger, page load. When page finishes loading, intro. I'm going to preview. There's our intro. And let's go ahead and publish to test. Home. About. Style guide. Cool. So there we go. Hopefully that helps. All right. We're done with that. Uh, let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comments below. If you use this trick inside of your website, please put that link in the comments below as well because I want to see what you're doing. I want to see how awesome your sites are with this new trick that you've learned. All right. Uh, if you haven't already done so, click on the subscribe button, the like, and also the notification bell. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at the Pixel Geek. Thank you all so much for your support and for watching these videos. Uh, let me know what else you want to see in a future video, okay? Uh, besides that, thank you all so much, and as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya!